Hi and hello. Today, let's talk about log levels, what they are, and the fundamentals of how to use them. Understanding log levels. At the heart of log management lies the concept of log levels. In essence, a log level is a classification mechanism used to indicate the significance of a specific log message. This is why log levels are sometimes called log severity. Log levels act as a beacon, helping us differentiate critical events from routine informative updates within log data. When logs do not adhere to standard logging practices, it's difficult to derive meaningful insight from them. To address this, it's essential to follow best practices in regard to log levels. So what are log levels? A logging level is a way of classifying or categorizing your logs to convey the importance of a log message. It offers a straightforward yet potent way to distinguish log events. When used correctly in your application, log levels serve as a quick indicator of the event's importance, and not only for humans, but also for your alerting system. Think of log levels as a filter of sort. They convey the level of importance that a log is. It could be critical system information or purely informative data. You don't want an alert for run-of-the-mill information, but you do want a big alert when a big event happens. Log levels assist in reducing information overload and help relieve alert fatigue. But first, a brief history of log levels. Where did they come from? The concept of log levels originated with syslog, developed in the early 80s. Syslog introduced severity levels, and since then, different programming language and logging frameworks have emerged, each with their own logging capabilities. While formats and destinations might vary a little bit, log levels remain a common feature across all frameworks. Common logging levels. In most logging frameworks, you'll encounter the following log levels, trace, debug, info, warning, error, and critical. Let's take a look at each. Trace. Trace is the most detailed level reserved for rare cases where you need full visibility into your application and third-party libraries. It provides extremely granular information. Trace is typically used when you want to trace the flow of execution within your code, including function entry and exit points, variable values, and detailed timing information, like tracking the steps of a complex algorithm in a performance-critical application. Debug. Debug is less granular than trace, but more detailed than other log levels. It's not generally used on a daily basis as it is more suitable for diagnosing issues, troubleshooting, and testing applications in a controlled environment. Debug is useful for tracking variables, function calls, or specific events during development. For instance, you might use debug to log database queries, HTTP requests, or detailed information about the internal state of your application during debugging. Info. The info log level indicates that something noteworthy happened in the application, such as entering a specific state. It provides an informative context, but doesn't require regular attention or direct action during normal operations. Info is ideal for recording important milestones in your application's lifestyle. For instance, you might log when a user successfully logs in, when a background task is completed, or when a new version of your application starts. The warning log level. The warning log level signifies unexpected behavior. While not expected, this behavior doesn't actually disrupt the application, but warrants your attention. It's used for situations that are out of the ordinary, but don't cause the application to fail. You should use warning when you encounter recoverable issues or unusual conditions, like if an application receives an unusual input that it can handle, but isn't typical, or when a resource is running low, but hasn't caused a failure yet. Think of it like a gas light on your vehicle. It's a warning and it's informative about the current situation. And sure, you might be able to squeeze by, but it's not wise to continue in that state for very long. Error. The error log level is reserved for when the application encounters an issue that prevents some functionalities, but continues to work correctly as a whole. It indicates a problem, but not a total failure. Error is an appropriate categorization for capturing issues that need investigation but don't result in the application crashing. Take, for example, a database connection failure, or an API request timeout, or a file not being found. Sure, the application still might work to a degree, but you should definitely look into it and fix it. And finally, critical. The critical log level indicates a crucial failure. There is a crucial business functionality that is no longer operational. This level indicates a severe issue that makes the application unusable and needs immediate attention. The critical log level should be used sparingly for catastrophic failures that render the application unusable or endangers data integrity. Think of it like a server crash, a security breach, or database corruption that leads to data loss. Keep in mind, all errors are bad, but not all errors are created equally. So don't make each event catastrophic, when in reality, it's just a warning or an error. Now let's make sense of it all. 
While log levels look pretty on their own, to make sense of log levels in your log events, there are two main actions that will need to be performed, filtering and alerting. Filtering by log levels lets you focus on specific severity levels of interest and is crucial for troubleshooting. If you cannot filter your logs, they are kind of pointless, as log levels are a tag of sorts so you can identify and address critical issues and troubleshoot effectively. So get a tool that allows you to filter well through your massive amounts of log data. But filtering isn't everything. You wouldn't know to search or filter for something if you were not first alerted to an issue. Implementing alerts based on log levels allow you to receive notifications for critical and fatal events that require immediate action. Having the ability to utilize log levels as a way of triggering alerts and sending out notifications to the appropriate team is an absolute must. Alerting should be reserved only for the more serious events, and log events and alerts should be actionable, and they shouldn't overwhelm you with non-critical notifications. If you're interested in the logging and infrastructure monitoring solution that I've been using throughout this video, check out the link below or visit sigmatex.com and check out the free demo there. In conclusion, choosing the right log level for particular events during application development is a long and tedious, but ultimately vital process. Proper log levels not only help you troubleshoot, but really help with concise alerting and effective log management. As systems generate increasing volumes of log messages, using appropriate log levels becomes crucial for maintaining log quality. Remember, the quality of your logs directly impacts effectiveness of log management solutions. Use log levels wisely to ensure that your logs remain useful and contribute to efficient log management. And as always, may the logs be with you.